Hi, this is me, and I'm an indie game developer from Italy. One thing that has always fascinated me, but that I was too lazy and deep in my comfort zone to try and play with, is procedural generation. That technique that game developers use to create content for their games without having to work on it. <sighs> lazy. Anyway, I decided that I wanted to start playing with it, hoping they would kickstart me into finally trying out some more complex stuff like procedural terrain, level generation or whatever else that the kids like these days. So I did what any other sane person would have done, I ordered myself a pizza to fuel my brain and also because I only had two that week, and it struck me, I will make procedural pizza. Or better, I will make a program that generates 3D pizzas procedurally. Okay, so the first thing I need to do is understand how I can represent the pizza geometrically. After doing some research, I came up with a simple schematization of what a pizza actually is. Basically just a donut with a circle or plane in the middle. The first step I took was calculating the position of the torus rings based on how many I want there to be and how smoothly I want things to run. Then let's generate some circles around these points. Obviously, we're going to need to rotate them according to their position, but luckily linear algebra gives us the tools to do so. Stay in school, kids! Okay, this is all fun and games until we need to actually make the mesh. Let's take the points we generated with the previous step and feed them into a new mesh object. And then let's generate the triangles that we're going to make up the faces. Even though they're not making videos anymore, Brocky's tutorials on procedural mesh generation in Unity probably do a far better job than I could at explaining how to do so, so go check those out if you're intrigued by what you're seeing here. After watching the video, of course. Great, we now have a procedural torus of which we can control the number of rings, segments and general size. That's cool! Before moving to the pizza's base, I will slightly deform the circles to give them a more crust-like shape, using the function that you can see on the screen right now. Oh, I didn't see you there. Well. Now that you're here, let me tell you how I made the computer generate the pizza's base. It's clear to the eye that our pizza is missing something as for now, so let's fill this hole. Okay, that sounded way different in my head. Anyway, I started by making a pseudo circle plane with some loop cuts to make it higher detail, but the vertices were too different in distance from one another to allow me to later deform the plane without looking like crap. So what I did is what every experienced programmer would do. I stole this guy's code from Stack Overflow and after converting the code to work in three dimensions, I can have the program generate circular planes with uniform faces for me. I generated a new mesh with this new data that I found myself with and then offset every point by a small random value to make it look more organic. I guess looking at the pizza from the button breaks the magic a little bit, but things are looking kind of cool already. At this point, the pizza was lacking some proper shading, so that's what I did next. Or did I? Hey Vsauce, Michael here. For the crust, the first thing I did was define two colors and then use coherent noise sampled in the object space position of each vertex to interpolate between them. I also used simplex noise to create a roughness effect and a normal map using a similar approach. The final result is something like this, and I'm actually pretty impressed if I can say so myself. For the sauce I did the same thing a lot more times, because I wanted a wavy sauce and a mozzarella mask. Ok, that's an expression I have never thought I would actually use. I also thought to extrude the mozzarella by a tiny amount to have it feel more 3 dimensional, but I later had to lower this effect for reasons that I'm gonna show you in a second. Anyway, let's build a nice interface with Kenny's UI pack and here we go, procedural pizza on demand. Should you want, you can try it out for free at my itch.io page if you want. Now that my hunger for procedural generation is satisfied, let's have a little fun. I asked my friends what their favorite pizza toppings were with a poll on Instagram. Some of the responses were really interesting, but I picked some of the most popular and easiest to model. I opened up Blender and Photoshop and here's a short tutorial on how to model pizza topping assets. Download a photo of the item. Open it in Photoshop and apply some filter. Isolate the subject. Clone it and distort it a little. Import it as a plane in Blender so that the UVs are already mapped. Cut out the silhouette. Extrude and repeat. 
After importing them in Unity and implementing an interface to spawn them, we can now play with fictional pizzas that would probably give our organism a really hard time to digest. That was it, thank you for watching, I left links to all the resources that I used down in the description along with an itch.io link to the page of the project should you want to read about it or try it out yourself. In case you have any questions, doubts or ideas, feel free to leave them in the comments and I will make sure to read all of them. This said, I've been Peter and in case you decide to stick around, see you next time.